Today we're going to be making the baked goodies carrier. Uh, you can get the pattern from Yarnspirations. I will have the link below if you want to follow along. Um, you just print it out. This pattern calls for Lily Sugar and Cream Cotton Yarn. And what you'll need today is three one and a half metal rings. I am using my heart shaped. You need scissors, a darning needle, and the eye size crochet hook, which is um, a 5.5. The pattern does call for an H, five millimeter. I'm using the Yarnspirations Karen's Cotton Cakes. Uh, this particular one is called Nested Blues. It is a four weight. You can use any type of four weight yarn. I do recommend that you use cotton. This one is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. You're going to need stitch markers. Um, okay, so let's get started, shall we? Alrighty. So we're going to make a slip knot and then we're going to chain seven. Now you will see that I change hooks through uh, throughout this pattern, uh, this video, uh, to make it easier for you to see. But right now we are just chaining seven. Okay. Then we are going to do one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. That's one. Let me just move this in a little bit for you. Okay. Oop. That's close. Okay, that should work. All right, so one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then we're going to do one single crochet in each chain to the end of the chain. And you should have six single crochets. Okay, so if you are not sure how to do a single crochet, you Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay. Come on, get in there. Get in there. There we go. Okay, so now we have six single crochets. We're going to um, chain one and turn. So now we're on the second row. We do one single crochet again in each single crochet to the end of the row. And then we chain one and turn. Now we are going to repeat this second row until our work from the beginning measures three inches or 7.5 centimeters, ending on the wrong side row but don't fasten off at the end. You're gonna continue the next section. So we're just gonna insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. And that's row two. So we're just gonna keep going with round two until it reaches three inches. Okay. And I do apologize for the nail polish. Yes, I'm giggling. I am a bowler and I just did my nails yesterday, but being a bowler with the finger tape, it kind of comes off the fingers that fast. But I didn't want to <laughs> go around with just one hand done. So 
And then we're gonna put it into the sixth chain here. All right, so chain one and turn. So keep going until it measures the three inches. Um, and then I will meet you back once we hit three inches. Okay, so now we've reached our three inches. Okay, so now, like I said, do not fasten off. We're going to continue onto the top flap. And the first row is chain one and turn. Two single crochets in this first single crochet. Let's bring in a little bit. Okay. There's one, and there is two. Sorry, my dogs are, <laughs> we're just let in and they're uh, full of energy a little bit. Then we are going to do one single crochet in each single crochet to the last stitch. So we're just doing the one all the way across until we get to the last. Here's the last one. And we're gonna do like in the beginning, two single crochets in this last stitch. There's one and there's two. So that was an increase. So now you're gonna turn your work and now we have eight stitches or eight single crochets. All right. Again, I apologize for the <laughs> nail polish. Now we're going for the second row, chain one, and we're just gonna do one single crochet in each stitch to the end of the row. So you should have, again, eight single crochets. Six. Nope. My counting's off. There we go. Seven. And eight. Okay. Now we're just going to repeat the last two rows until there's on, there's 28 single crochets. And again, we're ending on the wrong side row and we're gonna be placing markers at each end of the last row. And then we're gonna continue on to, this, to the bottom part. But we're going to go back to the first row, two single crochets, and then one single crochet in each of these stitches until we get to the last. Okay. I know it's white on white, so I apologize. Okay, and now we're gonna do two in this last stitch. So now we have 10. Okay, we had the eight, and then we redid it, and now we have 10. So now we're gonna do row two again, because it's the two row repeat, so we chain one and turn, and we do one single crochet in every stitch across, including those two new stitches that we did on each end. So we got the one on one end and one on the other end. Okay. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through two. And you could do this while you're watching TV, you know, or uh, binge watching a, a show on Netflix. 
I know lately I've been into a few of them. Blacklist and The Protector. The Protector is in the Turkish language, but they, they dub it with English and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so continue this pattern until you reach 28 single crochets across. And I will meet you back at that point. And then we're going to add the uh, stitch markers on the ends. But remember, it's um, two in each of the first and the last single crochets. And then one single crochet in each till we have 28 single crochets across. Okay, I'll meet you back there. And you'll see. Ta-da! We are back. So, as you can tell, we now have 28, and it turned into like a, a triangle. We're going to mark our first and last stitch over here. And move it over. I promise this will make sense marking uh, this spot right here <laughs> but make sure you mark the stitch and not the live stitch that way you can keep going okay so now we're not fastening off we're going to keep going now we're working on the bottom part of our carrier and we're going to chain one turn and one single crochet in each single crochet to the end of the row. <laughs> yep, you got it. And we're going to keep going with single crochets in case you want to jump ahead. Um, just in case you forgot, it's yarn, insert the hook. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through. Okay, so one single crochet in each of the 28 stitches across, and then you chain one and turn, and okay, so one across until it measures 13 inches or 33 centimeters from your marked row. And again, we're going to be ending on the wrong side row. Um, so yeah, make sure you have a drink and your favorite show. 13 inches, and I'll meet you back when we hit that part. Like magic, we are back. Let me fix this camera view. Okay. So now... This section might get a little tricky if you're just following along with the pattern. But from these stitch markers, we need to measure two and a half inches. I'm just, uh, I have my tape measure, my handy dandy homemade tape measure on my desk here. Sorry about the glare. But from the, uh, where the stitch markers are, we need to measure up two and a half inches or 6.5 centimeters and I'm just trying to okay so I'm just making sure to show you that this is the 13 inches Okay, I know I should have had the numbers start at the bottom and go up, but this is 13 inches. So to go back to what I was saying, because um, I was jumping ahead and I do apologize, but this was the 28th row. Now we need to measure 
two and a half inches and then place a marker so it's right there it will all make sense soon I promise I know and then follow it across and put a marker on this side as well okay let's just double check that here one two one two mm -hmm. okay so what I'm doing here is I'm just double checking my measurements and um, It'll just take a moment. I do apologize. I just want to make sure. And it's ten and a half and then okay, so I'm gonna check my long one here. Again, I'm sorry about the the glare. Okay, so three Trying to stay in camera here. So two and a half inches, so 6.5 centimeters. Okay. And then we're going to place markers at the 10 and a half as well. Yes. Um, so two and a half inches and 10 and a half, you want to put your more markers and the dogs sound like they're about to bark so if they do i will try to fix that but uh follow it along and then put a marker on this side as well and again do not fasten off we have more to do okay so now we're working on the bottom flap part this first row here, we're going to chain one, turn the work. Now we're going to single crochet two together. I'm going to bring this in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So single crochet two together insert hook pull through insert the hook in the next stitch yarn over and pull through all three so now we just did a decrease single crochet so in order to make um, sense later on i put a marker in the beginning row of the decreases but to continue on it's one single crochet in each single crochet to the last two stitches ta-da magic we're on the last two so insert hook yarn over pull through insert the hook in the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through all three All right, so just so you don't lose track, mark that row and you're going to move that stitch marker up on your next <coughs> decrease row. Sorry, <coughs> but this row, row two, we chain up one, turn it and one single crochet in each stitch to the end. So we have 26 single crochets in the row before. And then I call this the plain row. It's also going to be 26 stitches, but it's one all the way to the end. Okay. It's the last stitch here. All right. 
And now we chain up one, turn our work, and we're going to do that decrease row again. So that's two single crochets together and then one single crochet and it each and it <coughs> yeah I could talk one single crochet and each stitch across till we get to the last two stitches and then we're gonna single crochet two together again There we go. All right, and I'll meet you back at the end. And then the next row, if you want to keep going, uh, again, would be <clears throat> the single crochet. All right. And two together. Then chain up one and turn. So we're going to keep doing these two rows until there are six stitches left. Again, ending on the wrong side row. Okay, so keep going where it's single crochet two together on the ends. Then second row, one single crochet all the way across where you chain one and turn in between. Okay, and I'll meet you back. And we're back. <laughs> okay, so now that we have the six stitches, um, two, three, four, five, and six. If you happen to miss one where you miscounted on your rows, that's all right. Just make it where you have six stitches. Like if you have seven, <laughs> just do one of the single crochet two together. So now we're going to work on the handle. Pretty simple. Chain one turn one single crochet in each single crochet to the end of the row you're going to have the six single crochets again and you're going to turn your work chain one turn and we're just going to keep going until the handle measures 10 inches if the if that's a little too long for you yes you can shorten it um, but the pattern is calling for the 10 inches or 25.5 centimeters from the last decrease row now we're going to end on the wrong side and once we get to that 10 inches we will be fastening off so i'm marking where the last decrease was. Okay, so from this marker all the way up, keep going until you hit 10 inches. Okay, and now I'm on my last stitch here of my 10 inches. There we go. Chain one and cut the yarn and fasten it off. Now, if this handle is going to be a little too long for you, you can do eight or even nine inches. Um, but I'm going to weave this in before I go any further. And it doesn't have to be precise. Just weave it in and out, in and out, if I can get it in there. <laughs> in and out, in, out, in, out. There we go. Just so it gets in there. Okay. And then I'll go back in through a different stitch to lock it back into place. Just a, like two or three stitches. And then we're going to cut this extra. Okay. So there's our handle. 
now we are going to work on the sides and the flaps. And it's worked in between the markers that we did from the previous one. If you remember, it's the two and a half and the ten and a half spots. Okay. So these are not uh, even in a, in a way because it's calling for you join the yarn with a slip stitch at the first marker on the side of the bottom. So then you chain one and you're going to work 28 single crochets evenly across side of the bottom to the next marker. Now it won't in a sense be every, every row is a stitch to be 28. So you just want to eyeball it and make sure you just have 28 stitches worked evenly. Like you could do two really close or three really close and then have to skip a, a, a row. As long as you have 28 stitches. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you can see it's, it's not going to be one stitch in every row kind of thing. So just try, like I said, just try to eyeball it and make sure that it's 28 stitches, but it's, you know, more worked evenly across. Put there, there. Yeah, see, and that would be the other side, how it looks. I'm also uh, crocheting over my beginning yarn there. So I don't have to weave that in later. Okay. Let me put one there. Okay. So keep going until you, re you hit the 28 stitches. And I'll meet you back at the other marker. Yeah, I have two there, one there. <laughs> okay. So now I'm coming up on to my 28th stitch. I'm going to remove this marker here. Okay. Okay. 28. Voila. And I apologize for the nails in the background. The dogs are playing now. But now for the second row, we are going to chain one. Okay. I'll move these out of the way. Now for the second row, I was, uh, yeah, discombobulated with the dogs wanting to play. Okay. So for this second row, we're going to do one single crochet in each of the previous single crochets all the way across. So we're still going to have the 28 stitches. Um, okay. Yeah. So 28. And I know it's going to little, look a little weird and feel a little weird at the edge here. Cause it's like really crisp of going straight up, but I promise it works out in the end. Okay. So chain one and turn. Now we're going to work. Uh, the second row over and over and over 28 stitches until it measures two and a half inches. So it's one single crochet in every stitch uh, to the end for two and a half inches. Alrighty. So this is what mine looks like. Uh, it's this variegated yarn. It changes colors at certain spots, but, uh, yeah, so it's two and a half inches or 6.5 centimeters. And now 
where were we? Ah. So we are on the first row after the two and a half. We chain one and turn. And now we are going to decrease again. So single crochet in the first, but don't finish it. Go in the second stitch and then all through all three. And I placed a marker to show which one is my decrease row. Okay. And then we do one single crochet in each single crochet until the last two stitches. So in the end, we're going to have 26 stitches because we're losing two stitches. Because we started out with the 28. And if you notice, I switched hooks so it's easier on the eyes. I apologize for the white on white. Okay, this works out pretty quick. There we go. So one single crochet to the end till, till the last two stitches. And then we're going to single crochet two together. We're just about there. Okay, so here's my last two. So we're going to insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. So now you can mark this side as well, or just leave it on one side. But we're going to chain one and turn. And just like we did on the other one, this next row is going to be one single crochet in every stitch. That's right, you guessed it. That's right, it's so exciting. <laughs> it really is though, because just looking at this pattern, it, it's, why didn't I think of this earlier? <laughs> or why didn't I find it earlier? <laughs> um, okay. So one single crochet across. Ta-da! Magic again. So here's the marker showing that I did the decrease on the row below it. And then you just work around that. Chain one and turn. So now we know the next one is going to be a decrease. So we do single crochet two together. And then we move this marker up. Come on. Fingers work, please. Thank you. <laughs> there. And then one single crochet in every stitch across. So we're going to repeat these last two rows until there are six stitches. And we're placing, again, markers at each end of the last row. Which I will explain right about here. But again, if you end up with seven stitches, you know, just one side, do an extra decrease if you have to. Or it doesn't have to be completely perfect. Nobody's going to see it in that sense of one extra stitch. So now, if I could get this in there. Come on. Aha. Okay. So we're measuring. Well, we're putting markers at the end of this row because now Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. We are going to make the ring tab. Um, now it's getting exciting. So we're going to chain one and turn. So 
sorry, I'm just double checking the pattern over here. And one, that's right, you guessed it, one single crochet and each single crochet to the end of the row. And we're still going to have six single crochets and we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to keep doing this row until the whole piece measures three inches from the our marked row. Okay, yeah. Somehow I goofed on that <laughs> beginning one. Um, so you chain one, turn, and one single crochet in every stitch. It looks like little earrings for uh, like a Mr. Potato Head or something, the way the markers are flopping. <laughs> Sorry. It's the little things that you find amusing, right? <laughs> okay, so three inches. Let me just get this so you can see it a little better. This is working up so gorgeous. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, mark stitch. Three inches or 7.5 centimeters. And I'll meet you back when we get there and then we fasten off. That's right. Now that we're at the end, we're going to fasten off three inches. Now there's going to be a long pause for me, but a quick one for you. Uh, we're going to repeat this again on the opposite side of the bottom. So everything that we just did for this side, do it again for the opposite side. So it's going to be another side and flap. Okay, and I'm just going to weave this in again. In and out. Do, 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 do. There we go. Now you can leave a tail if you want to for when you have to weave in uh, with your rings later. Uh, I don't mind adding more yarn to it later on. And then we snip this. Okay. So go ahead, repeat this on the other side. Just making sure it's straight. All right. So, is it looking pretty for you? There we go. <laughs> I know I'm getting silly. But go ahead, repeat this again where you put 28 stitches evenly across and then you one single crochet and you keep going until it reaches two and a half and then we start again with the first row and the second row of decreasing just like that and we're doing it over here and I'll meet you back when we get to the top again. And we are back. Just like magic. <laughs> so I have the three inches, right? Three inches. And my tail here. Yes, three inches. Um, now comes the exciting part. I don't have my top light on. I'm sorry if there's a shadow. But let me grab my rings here. Ta-da! Now I have heart-shaped ones. Uh, you can use round. Whichever ones you like. But we're going to put this on. It's 
slip, you know, slip it through. Then we're going to fold it over. I'm going to lay it so it's on the flat side. There we go. I got my needle. And no, I don't know about you, but for stuff like this, there is no special way that I close it off. Like it's not a mattress stitch or what did I do here? Wait, oh, okay, back through. <laughs> I put it through the, the ring somehow. I just put it in and out, in and out. I try to make a knot on either side. I was hoping it wasn't through the uh, the ring again. <laughs> okay, make a knot, pull it tight. And as long as you go through both sections, and you just weave it in and out, through the bottom all the way to the top. But it's no special stitch in a way. I mean, you can, you could do the mattress stitch if you want. You could do whatever your heart desires. I'm going to try to do this lefty now. So I'm still on camera. Not bad, huh? <laughs> okay. So you get in there. And now we're going to lock it into place. Put it through there, make a knot. Okay. Not too shabby. Yeah. Okay. Big boop. <laughs> and there's a ring. You can turn it so the hearts are showing, you know, but you might be using the round ones. So now we're going to do the same exact thing for the other two ring tabs. Let me, uh, there we go. So I just did this one. And so now we're gonna repeat it for this one and for, come on, work with me yarn, for this one. <laughs> For this, and I'll meet you back when we, when you finish this up. And this one is the handle. Okay. All right. So now we have one. We have a two. And we have a three. Yay. <laughs> but now we have to work on the handle. This is going to look so cool when it's done. I can't wait. All right, so let me uh, move this to the handle here. So now you understand why I said if you want the handle a little shorter, by all means. Okay. Is that, yeah. That's about good. Because that's where the, the marker was. So I'm gonna just get the needle here, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing with uh, sewing it up. It's getting late, and these are, it's a longer, you know, handle, so. All right, let's take this out. What, what am I doing? Hello, brain fart. Wait, no. Yeah, no. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Hi. Who knows, maybe I'll edit that out. Maybe I'll keep it in. It's one of my bloopers. Just so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> With or without the bloopers. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to tie it three times to make sure that it is tight. Cut off the extra here. I can't wait. It's almost done. Yay. 
All right, so line it up. And we're going to do the same, same thing, in and out. Weave it down, weave it up. Could that be a song? Weave it down, weave it up. Weave it down. <laughs> oh, Charlie, you're losing your mind again. It's all the stitching. It's all the single crochets that we just did, right? Yep. But it was so worth it. Can I get it in there? I'm getting excited. It's like right there. Come on. Come on. Last couple stitches and we are done and we can showcase it. Now this could be used for since the holidays are coming up. Oi, you can carry your uh, your thing of cookies, your uh, casseroles. Uh, oh, there's so many things that you can carry in this so you don't burn your hands so it doesn't fall over in the car. Okay, I'm just going to weave it in and out so we hide that end. Scissors. And we are done. Yay. That looks so pretty. <laughs> we are done. Oop, sorry about the mess there. And there's our handle. So now I'm going to put it together. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I went and grabbed the uh, Pyrex bowl. This one is a 7 by 4 Five, fifteen. They are so hard to read. Oh, yeah. you put it in the middle. Um, this thing is my uh, one of my stitch marker holders. It's an old candy thing. Right, here we go. Here is the magic. Now here's the handle. Whichever way works better for you. Um, yeah. We just slide the ring on this handle here. I know it's looking a little funky because you're above me, the, the work. Okay, all three are slipped on. And this is a better view, I guess. <laughs> it's still on my tripod. But it carries the dish so nicely. Whoops, sorry. I had the camera turned. Isn't that pretty? Now let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. And I would definitely love to see your creation over on, the, on my, my Facebook, uh, Facebook yeah. group. And I'll have the link below. Sorry, I cannot talk. But I hope you enjoyed. And have a great day.